This is CBS 2 News at 11 a.m. Now, we learned from a news conference this morning that 10 firefighters have been hurt battling the Jesusita fire. Three of them, veteran firefighters, are seriously injured this morning. They're being treated at the Grossman Burn Center in Sherman Oaks. Here's the view of the fire once again from News Chopper 2. Now we know the identities of the firefighters. CBS 2's Sarai Vidal is live in Sherman Oaks at the Grossman Burn Center, continuing our live team coverage with their IDs and the latest Sarai on their conditions. Well, that's right. All three are expected to stay here for about a week. They're alive and recovering. They will live to tell their story. We are told 57-year-old Captain Brian Bulger, 51-year-old Captain Ron Topolensky, and 44-year-old Robert Lopez are doing well. The Santa Barbara News Press website captures just some of the pictures, and two of them will undergo surgery tomorrow. God was watching over these men. Dr. Richard Grossman tells us it's a miracle two veteran captains and a firefighter made it out alive. They were on the same Ventura County fire strike team assigned to protect homes in the Mission Canyon area on Spyglass Road. The firefighters were reportedly trapped inside a Santa Barbara burning home after their truck was overtaken by flames last night. Fire overran the engine. Uh, their breathing apparatus was inside. It's very effectively put the breathing apparatus in this burning building. Uh, and when the engine got overridden. All three Ventura County firefighters were airlifted from a Santa Barbara hospital shortly after nine last night and taken to Sherman Oaks, where they are being treated by Grossman's Burn Center, the top burn center in the country. They are in serious but stable condition. Two sustained second to third degree burns, the other sustained respiratory injuries. But the, the conditions could have been so much worse and, and, and the story could be so much worse that we're happy to, to, to see the guys. Oatman tells me he's relieved to know they're pulling through this ordeal. You actually saw them yesterday. You were able to talk to them? Uh, late last night, well, about 1 o'clock this morning, I was, I was I actually went into the rooms and was able to talk to them. Uh, they would obviously had been through a traumatic situation, uh, had, had dealt with quite a bit. Uh, they were still trying to gather their to gather the uh, reality of it all. Okay, great. Now, doctors and the Ventura County Fire Chief are expected to be here at noon to update us on the conditions. Doctors are monitoring all three firefighters. We are told there's unsubstantiated reports that the governor is expected to be here and possibly meet all three firefighters. We'll have to wait and see if that happens. We're live here in Sherman Oaks, Raya Fidel, CBS News. All right, Raya, thanks so much for that.